This segment of Naperville Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Daily Herald. We're here at Naperville Central with boys basketball coach Pete Kramer. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Your team last year, uh, down year as, as far as wins and losses go, but you had a lot of young players on that team. So what's it been like this year to kind of have those same guys come back as seniors? Well, I, I look at our year last year, I don't, I don't consider it a down year. I think any time you can win 15 or more games in a season, it's been a, a pretty, real good year. We did start four juniors last year and uh, three of them are back this year. And uh, I just think it's only gonna make our team stronger uh, this year. Um, Matthew Meyer is, is, is our point guard. Um, and uh, Brandon Baskin is, is one of our guys back. And Harry Hallstrom, big six, seven kid in the middle. Uh, those three are back. And then along with uh, James Kendrick, uh, he's another senior and then uh, my son Nick Kramer. So our size-wise, we go 6'2", 6'5", 6'5", 6'6", 6'7". So we're we're long, lanky, and uh, I just I, I kind of I like I'm really happy with where we're at at this time. You mentioned it, you guys are tall, you're lengthy, you got a lot of size. So what is that like to kind of uh, be able to play off of that a little bit more so than in, in past years where it was more maybe a guard-driven team? Uh, you know what? I I think it's real important as a coach to have a, a one of your best players with the ball in his hands at most of the time, and that's, and that's Matthew Meyer. Uh, he's playing the point for us, and we're asking not only to handle the ball and run the show, but also score for us. And uh, he's doing a great job um, so far this year. And, and your other good player is your, your big guy. And, uh, you know, they both can score in so many ways. Harry is 6'7 and can score down the block, but he can also step out and hit, hit the three, and he can also put it on the floor. So. Both those two kind of work off each other, and uh, they've, they've played long enough where they kind of know where each, each other is on the court. And, and then you, th you throw in shooters uh, with, with Nick and James Kendrick, and, um, and uh, you, get, you have a defensive stopper in Brandon Baskin, who, who is, is, a, is a very good rebounder and uh, also does his little scoring inside for us. You mentioned Harry and Matthew. Those two combined for 45 of the 59 points against Nequa uh, this past week. So what is that like to kind of just see them go out there and do what they did uh, against Nequa and overall this season what they've been able to do? It's, it, it's great to see them have success, uh, both of them. Um, they've worked very hard. Um, they've been outstanding throughout the program in their years up. You know, this is Matthew's third year on the varsity, so I kind of expect it from him. but. But we've had high expectations for Harry too. Harry kind of had an up and down season last year, and I think he's really uh, worked hard and has got himself ready for this year. And he's been he's been pretty consistent uh, this year so far. And you know what? There's going to be times, there's going to be nights when when teams can't take those two away. They're they're going to score big, and when they do, then then hopefully uh, we, we we're, we're good enough where we have other guys knocking down shots. The win against Nequa was the first time that the program has beaten the Wildcats since 2005, I believe. So uh, obviously, you guys don't see each other at, you know, back then being in different conferences. You'll see each other a lot more now. But uh, what what is that like to see you guys get that win? And I guess maybe it means a little bit more. Uh, it does. Um, in 2005, we beat them in a, in a regional final game at their place. Uh, but the one that sticks in my mind is uh, the 09. The 09 season, where Drew was a senior, and they beat us in the sectional final, and you know we had a we had a 27 and three uh, overall record, uh, one of the the best in school history. So that was a that was a tough loss against them, and they were a very good team at that at that time too. I think they only had two losses uh, at the time, um, but yeah, that it's it's always nice to to, to beat them. Um, and, and I, you know, I respect the, you know, their program and what they've done. Um, but again, it's, it's a new year. It's a new, new, new group of kids. And we're just taking one game at a time. And, and right now, you know, we focus on Equa now. T tonight, it's, it's Mattia. So there's our focus. <laughs> you mentioned that 08-09 uh, team. Um, that's the last time that the Red Hawks have also won the DVC. So is that something that you guys are obviously that that's like the main goal, I guess, for the season is DVC or bust? 
Yeah, our, our goal every year is to go out and, and win a conference championship, but you kind of have a feeling of, of where you are, even the kids do, and this year it's definitely a goal. Uh, you, know, you, you set goals that are attainable, I, I think it's attainable and I think it's achievable. Um, um, and you know, we not only want to win the conference, but by doing it we want to take one game at a time and don't be looking ahead and uh, at the same time getting better each week and um, getting ready for the state tournament along with you know, our conference foes. You mentioned that you have Matia coming up and then you have Wabonzi right after that. So welcoming the Valley Schools to the DVC, what, uh, what's that going to be like for the area, for the students, for the, the players? They get a chance to see guys that they've seen in AAU ball and you know, as they get, get older. Right. Um, I, I think it's exciting. I, I think uh, as a coach, I, you always want to play the, the toughest schedule you could possibly play to, to get yourself prepared and see where you're at. Um, I think our conference from top to bottom is, is just is, is very, very well respected and, and very, very difficult. Um, so we welcome the values, but, but also, you know, we'll be, we'll be ready for them. You get a chance to coach your son. Uh, so what's that like, been like so far this year? And also seeing that Matt has his brother on the team. So obviously this has been more of a, a family affair type of uh, season for you guys. Yeah, I, uh, Matthew's, uh, Matthew's little brother Patrick is, is a very close friend of, of my son's. Um, and they've played together all growing up um, early on. And you know, coaching your son, I, you know, you, you never know what it's like until you finally do it. And there's pressure, um, but I think uh, I put a lot more pressure on myself maybe than, than Nick, Nick would. I think Nick is pretty even keel and he's just out playing with his friends and, and used to being around the guys he's, he's playing with. And uh, so I, I think it's a little more on me, but at the same time, he, he, he calms me in, in a certain way where, uh, you know, I, I just try to treat him just like I would any other player. And, and, you know, by doing that, I think that's probably the best way to, to go about doing it. Not be too hard on him, but not be too, you know, too light on him either. You mentioned that Matthew is a three-year varsity player. You also have another sophomore on your team, Ben. Uh, so you got a chance to see him a couple of games now. What have you liked about his game so far? Uh, you know, Ben was a surprise. Um, you know, I watched him this summer play with the sophomores, and then we, you know, during open gyms this fall, and and uh, just watching him develop, and he's grown a little bit. He he's he's done a great job so far. He's been a nice surprise. He's six eight. He's got a good frame, um, and he's. He's raw, but he's learning. He's learning a lot, and he's taking it in. And he's, he's got a little bit of a calmness to him, too, for, for only being a sophomore. And he's not afraid to bang. And, uh, and that's the big, that's one of our main goals this year, is just to, to play more physical and to play with a little more mental toughness uh, than we did a year ago. And I think that has, uh, has gotten through to the players. And I think uh, we're, we're five and two because of that. We've been on the road for, for, you know, the first four out of the five games, and it's nice to finally be home and, and get a win at home. So, what is it like playing at this gym with the Red Hawk Rowdies always out in full force? What is it like playing here at home? I, I just I, I I love this gym because I think it it just reminds me of old school. It, it's an it's an older gym. It, it's got a lot of character and a lot of history, and. Uh, I wouldn't give up this gym for, for any gym. I, I wouldn't want a brand new one. This is, this is our home and, and we love it. Someone who's played in this gym uh, for a long time, you were with, you had Matt uh, Skaronski. Um, we lost him over the summer, but what has been the impact of him, you know, being a, a part of this team, not physically, but, you know, spiritually? I, it, it was very difficult this summer when we lost Matt. Um, my son and uh, the other juniors on the team were very, very close to Matt. And uh, the seniors were close to him too, just because we brought Matt up for a few games last year. And he, he you know, the seniors got to know him. Um, this team and, 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 and with Matt gone, um, it's brought us closer together. And we were already a pretty tight knit group. And I think now it's made us even tighter and closer. And these kids are, are, are playing for each other not just themselves or not just the program, but just for each other out there. And, 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 and Matt's a big part of it. We have 
uh, dedicated our season to him, and uh, he will be the, the driving force. Uh, we'll represent him, represent Matt with, uh, we were, the kids will wear a patch on their jersey with his initials on it, and um, our shooting shirts will all have his number on it, and uh, his jersey will be worn or be put on a, on a chair on our bench at wherever we go. So uh, Matt will always be with us throughout the year. I'm sure he'd be really proud of the way you guys are honoring him. Uh, but coach, again, I want to thank you for joining us and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.